welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for the movie Phantom Thread. This is Daniel Day Lewis's final film. Um, because as, as some people final, know, final, final film. Final film because they stated he he finally he came out and stated that he's gonna fully retire from acting. Um, and he's done some phenomenal great films. La from like, uh, Last of the Mohicans. Yes. And um, there will be blood. There will be blood, and also when he played Abe Lincoln. And Abe Lincoln too. Let me get that game to Lincoln. We well, just went straight into those two, okay? But um, what I read about this is that um, he's him and this one. He's the only major name that I know. I, I saw in this, um, but he, him and his uh, his uh, partner pretty much are like fashion, you know, fashion icons during this. It's during it's, it's in a way it's during I think believe it's during the 1950s war in London or something like that. Or um, war in London. In London, I believe in London or or, or the main main war. I forgot. For sure, it's not one of the world wars. I, I don't know which war, if it's a world war or not. I got you. But all I, I know, oh, God, you know uh, why? <laughs> Ever since Wonder Woman, I don't want to get a world war mix up. God damn it! But it, <laughs> it, but anyways, uh, and they're fight fashion icons, pretty much. They you know they're in the world of fashion. And, of course, he's a bachelor. He's always going from woman to woman and things like that. And until he meets one interesting particular type of woman. Interesting day it comes out. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, uh, it, you know, until he meets, you know, one day Post-war meets... London. Yes, thank we'll you. We'll just go post-war London. Uh, but he, you know, of course, he bumps into one, you know, specific interesting woman pretty much who eventually, you know, becomes his muse and things like that. You know, his... Uh, inspiration and stuff like and things like that so um that's all i know of uh, and it comes out christmas day yeah christmas day comes out um let's just take a look at this. this is the official trailer for phantom thread that's on tuesday too oh, really? yeah, no. you can sew almost anything into the canvas of a coat when i was a boy i started to hide things in the linings of the garments. Things that only I knew were there. <laughs> Secrets. Good morning. Will you have dinner with me? Jesus Christ, you just met. I know, right? Yes. Oh, oh damn, it actually worked. Oh, Paul Thomas Anderson? Alright, I forgot about that, sorry. That's good. Magnolia and There Will Be Blood. Yeah, um, so it's it's it, it seems like it's one of those type of films with the romance in there, but at the same time, you know, it's like they keep warning her about, you know, it's like he, you know, it's like in a way they're like this isn't this isn't gonna last long for you, in a way, yeah. um, you know, it's like they all know him saying that he's more like a bachelor and stuff like that. It's like he goes from woman to woman, um, but it seems like this one is like different for him. You know, it's different in its own way. And it's interesting to see where it goes, because I don't 
I really don't know much about this. Is it it's based off a real guy or is it just set? It's just set. Okay. Much. Um. Um. It's interesting. You know his mindset about fashion and things like that, and it's just like he sees a girl in a diner, picks her up like it's f fucking Tony Stark doing it. You know and yeah, but th but this girl's different to him. That's the thing. It's only different to him. This one's different compared to. And we see why we chose her because it's somebody. Who's never seen this guy before until that point? Who's not really into like full on fashion or anything like that? Like, yeah, yeah that's why she's like, you know, this is my own. She style. feels more fascinated by him from the looks of it. Yeah, that's what it is, and that's what he likes about it. It's like she's so fascinated by him, you know, who he is, and, you know, he's trying to get used to certain things. And the whole like question is, is are they in love? Or, oh, is, is, she, is he in love with her? For her, or is he in love with her for the fact he's just her me his in a, in a way, it's either, it, yeah, in a way where he thinks that, you know, she's more of just a muse. That's all it is. Yeah, and it goes from there. And it definitely looks interesting. I mean, he chose a good writer-director he's worked with before for his final flick. Yeah. He looks like he's fully into the role from what I've seen. I mean, remember, Dirt Will Be Blood, he was a full-on cow cowboy, essentially, a Western. Oh, yeah. And this one, he's a full-on... Like a English fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and honestly, it looks interesting. Um, probably not my kind of like movie, but yeah. I think I can see why I would probably enjoy it if I did eventually sit down and watch it. Mm -hmm. For you, it looks like a couple's movie. Yeah, with the wife. Um, well, I mean, do you have any favorite uh, Daniel Day Lewis films? Or I mean, I, I know, I know, I know, just from the ones that you know of from the top of your head. Lincoln's the only one I've actually fully seen. I've never seen. Did he do that um, one to, uh, with Leo DiCaprio? The one with the, the in, in New York, pretty much with like the rival gangs. I could be wrong. Oh, um, oh, uh, Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York. He did that. I've he, seen bits and pieces of that movie. Okay. I have never seen the rule. I've. I've seen uh, like a scene or two of *There Will Be Blood*. The only full movie I've seen of him was for um, *Lincoln*. I the only two films I've seen him in fully, because any other film I've seen him in was like bits and pieces. But it has been *Gangs of New York* and uh, and pretty much *Lincoln*. Pretty much that one. Yeah. Um, so I mean, if I had to choose though a great performance, I loved him in. I would have to admit, I, I loved him in *Lincoln*. The way he portrayed the character, he just died Trade right into Lincoln's yeah. mind. And his, how he would have reacted to a lot of things. And he did a phenomenal job. That has to be one of my favorite roles he ever did. You know, so, I mean, it's sad to see a, such a great, prominent type of actor, you know, but, you know, go. But, you know, it's like, it, it feels like, for him, it feels like it's his time just to, you know, it's like, you know what? I've done what I can. I've done what I wanted to do. Let me just live the rest of my life pretty much in peace, you know, with, yeah. you know, with all of that. So, I really do hope for the best for him and... You know, hope he has a, a he enjoys his retirement. You know, so you know, he a good, him. yeah, he leaves a good film legacy behind. Yeah, he definitely left a really good legacy behind with his films that he's worked on. So now he's going to go into that off the radar world where um Sean Connery lives. Yeah, which we've never heard from him ever again. So, <laughs> but uh, other than that, yeah. though, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about Mr. Daniel Day Lewis, yes. hit the subscribe button down below, or if you're also on mobile, hit the bell icon to the right hand side. Um, just let us know what your thoughts are. First of all, on this film, pretty much, uh, uh, you know, is it, is it a film that's up your alley or anything like that? What catches your eye for the film? Um, and also, mainly, you know, if you, you know enjoyed Daniel Day Lewis's films, um, since now he's, this is, this is confirmed that this is his last film. Um, but you know, what's one of your favorite films or favorite roles that you've seen yeah. him in, especially if you have seen a lot of his films more than us. So you got to definitely put down below, you know, one of his favorite, your favorite films that he was in. Um, but, uh, definitely, uh, you know, put down your thoughts or, you know, why you enjoyed him as an actor or anything like that. So, uh, let's, let us know what your thoughts are on our reaction and thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Daniel Day Lewis Phil episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.